Hi and welcome back and this is part two of the winter prep. I realized in the last video that I filmed way too long and that I missed a few things so if you haven't watched the last one I'm just gonna pop that down and at the end of the video I'm gonna pop another card on that you can click on seeing the last one and I'm just gonna continue and do the video quickly. Let's get started. So. Another part of what I'm trying to prep for winter is to cover up my water pipes outside, which I'm going to do with that stuff. So this is like insulation, which I'm going to use to wrap around the water pipes. I'm going to show you now. So this is the water pipes I'm talking about. These are going to be wrapped up, uh, which they went usually where the boiler was, as I explained in the last video. The boiler was here usually and the water pipes uh, went up there to be connected with the water to be heated up when needed so that was actually for that so that this is no longer there that's why i use the insulation for and i'm only going to use the insulation when it's about to start to be frosty which is at the moment not the case we have start of november it's probably like maybe for the next month or so it's not going to be frosty so hopefully i don't have to use that anytime soon but to have it here it's going to live underneath uh, the couch so that's the one thing the next thing is what i didn't mention last time is the um, jug for the water filter in case i cannot use my water tank because it freezes up every winter since it's underneath the back of the van on the outside and it's going to get pumped through. I cover up the pipes for that water tank as well but it just every winter it freezes because if it goes below uh, minus two it freezes anyway. So no matter what I do with wrapping up it's just going to freeze anyway. So and that the filter is on that underneath the sink. I have a filter there I'm going to do another video about my water filter underneath the sink. So I'm going to keep this. This is my spare. I'm going to buy one or two filters for this so the uh, frosty temperatures won't last long anyway in the winters so sometimes just a week or two and then it goes back up and in that time I'm just going to use the filter and just going to get tap water to put in here so that's going to be fine for that. The next thing is having hot water, hot tea, <laughs> no just hot water. It's going to be hot tea. So hot tea for the winters in this van, especially during the day when I don't heat with the heater. But that's uh, another thing for winter. Then the next thing is these moisture catchers. And I put those for the front for the windscreen. So I put them one. I have two of those. So I pop the, those into the windscreen in the front and they last me about a week until they come up pink. So when they are pink in the front here, that means they are full of moisture and need to be steamed up, heated up so the moisture escapes and going to be refreshed. And they help quite a bit with the steam in the front. Not as efficient as I thought they would be, but they're better than having none in there. Like last year I had last winter I haven't had any sort of thing and they just it was just completely fucked up in the front and the seat belts kept molding all the time so I popped these in it helps a little bit not like 100% but this definitely takes up some moisture for sure and the next thing is my hot water bottle this is a must-have <laughs> especially for women in a van it is definitely for cold feet for cold hand and wrapping yourself up in the blankets and whatnot or for me when i stay on my laptop during the days and it's getting cold on my legs or feet i'm going to use these uh, this thing and it's absolutely helpful i have it now since oh five years something yeah and that was just two pound fifty so that's definitely a uh, must have as well. Then the next thing is wrapping up the front windows like the middle one, windscreen and the uh, 
driver's side and the passenger side door windows. So I'm wrapping that in there. I have some sticks that I put on, made myself. So I use that to tape that through to the uh, frame so it holds into the window, otherwise that just flops out as it is so flimsy. So I wrap that all around the front and that works as well in summer to keep the heat out and in winter to keep the warm in. So that's another thing to wrap up. And uh, covering up the uh, crawl through, which I do with a pillow that lifts up here. It's just uh, on a frame, sits up there. I have a pillow here that my partner cut out to fit into the walk through, uh, crawl through, as I say. I pop that in there, stays in there, and as it looks ugly this way, I'm covering this up with a nice towel. And that's that. So to cover this up, because the draft that is coming from the front sometimes is not very nice. You can see the curtain moving sometimes. So yeah, that's for the winter to cover up the front as my dog's bed is just right here. And he obviously gets the draft mostly and that's not nice to sleep like that. So we cover that up in the front and when we don't use it during the day it just sticks up there. Right, so that's that. Right, the next thing is the bathroom fan as this uh, is a moisture trap as well because the air is coming through here all the time. So what I invented is a simple plastic cover which I pull when it gets dark over this thing and cover it up so it's all nice and covered. You know, air coming through, no moisture coming through. And if I don't use it during the day, I just pull it to the side and have it there. So that's the cover for the fan. One last thing is the curtain, which is hooked up here to the back. Comes down during the night, just like that. So we have a curtain running down covering the door because I want to make it as airproof as possible, draft proof, which is not really happening in the, on the bottom, but yeah, so you can pull it down. But it works really good during the winter, at least having a little bit more of a barrier going on for the curtain, up, for the wind coming through to that door, because the gaps on the sides are just really not possible to completely shut off. I have uh, draft stoppers here on all the edges. Unfortunately not on this side because I can't because it's a movable part and the door is so tight to this I can't even shut it anymore. So yeah, that is unfortunately not enough. So the curtain is coming into play as well. So that is my preparation part two for the winter. And I think that's that's all all together now. And I hope you got some value out of it and I'll see you in the next one.